Welcome back to the channel that's made for hustlers like you and I. So today I'm going to take y'all along with me to do all the shopping for the products that's going in my vending machines. I'm going to tell y'all every store that I'm going to and I'm going to tell y'all how much I'm buying each product for and I'm going to also tell y'all how much I'm selling each product for. So using those two numbers we'll be able to figure out my profit that I'm getting from each product. But before I get into this video, I want to send a special shout out to the Hustle fam because guess what I got in the mail? Man, check it out. I got my YouTube play button. Man, this has been a long time coming, so I just wanted to give y'all a quick thank you for making this possible for me. Y'all are the best, but y'all already know that. But back to the video. As always, happy hustles. So right now we are actually in my home office slash YouTube studio. So as you can see what's behind me, that is my inventory shelf for my vending machines. Let's take a look at it. I get a lot of comments asking where do I keep my inventory? Well, you are looking at it. This is it. I keep it in my home office. If I get more vending machines and eventually need to get a warehouse, I'll do so. But until then, this is all I need. I keep my crate up there and the bulk items when I have them. And then I keep the candy containers up here and then all your pastries, chips, and everything else, you know, I just go by size. Let's just take a special moment to go slightly to the left. And here we have plenty of your Nyx card readers. Look, I know y'all know I'm always going on about them, but I love them and I would not switch up on them for anything. These have come in handy. And if you want to increase your vending machine sales, I highly recommend them. If you get some new devices, make sure you use my discount code that's in the description of this video and every other video. So the way that I normally load up my candies and things, I usually take them out the boxes so I won't have a bunch of trash and put them in their individual crates. And then if the crates will fit, I'll include them all in the tote. And that's just opposed to taking the boxes out with me in public and having a bunch of trash around my vending machine in my work area. That does not look professional and it creates a tripping hazard. Not a good thing for a vendor. But now we got to start getting to these stores. So we're going to get to our first store to pick up some snacks. I'll meet y'all there. And here we are, Hustle Fan. We are here at our first stop. First stop, Sam's Club. And this is where I pick up every last snack for my vending machine. Sooner or later, I might try out some new stops. I've been hearing some good things about Costco's and BJ's, but right now I'm stuck with Sam's Club. And later in this video, you'll see exactly why I do not buy my drinks from here. So we're gonna go ahead and get inside of here and I'm gonna show y'all how much I get each product for and how much I sell them for. Y'all stay tuned. Now, before we get in here to do all our shopping, y'all let me know that you're still hanging with me by leaving me a happy hustles down in the comments. All right, let's get into it. So the first item that we're coming up on is gonna be our chips. We're going for the 50 pack box and this is gonna sell for 1848. So the way we do it is 1848 divided by 50 and that makes each pack 37 cent. Now I'm gonna sell each one in my vending machine for $1.25. So that leaves me 88 cent profit per pack of chips sold. So we'll go ahead and grab two of these before we move on. And the next item we're gonna go for are gonna be our honey buns. The honey buns are 12 in a box and they sell for $6.88. So that'll make each honey bun 57 cent and I'm selling it for $1.25. So for every honey bun that sells in my machine, that'll leave me 68 cent profit. Next up on our list are gonna be the famous Amos cookies. So these come in a box of 42 and a box costs $17.88. So that makes each pack of cookies 43 cent and I sell them in my machines for $1.50. So for every pack of cookies that sell, I will have a dollar and seven cent profit. These Oreo cookies also does very well. These Oreos come in a box of 30 and it costs $13.48. So that makes each pack of Oreos 45 cent. I sell them in my machine for a buck 50. So for every pack of Oreos sold, that'll be a dollar five cent in profit. And now we're coming up on our more sweeter items. Skittles, you can almost never go wrong with. Here they have a box of 36 for $33.98. That'll make each pack of Skittles 94 cent. I sell them for $2 inside of my machines. So for every pack of Skittles sold, that'll be a dollar six cent profit. The other flavor Skittles are the exact same price, 94 cent per candy, and so are the Starburst, Twix, and the Kit Kats. So we're gonna pick all of these up also. And I almost forgot about the Pop-Tarts. They moved them to a new location, but these are a must. For a box of 48, they want 9.98. That'll make each pack 42 cent and I sell them for a buck 25 inside of my machines. So for every pack sold, that will bring in a profit of 83 cent. And now that wraps up all of our shopping for our snack vending machines this week. So now let's go ahead and get to the drink aisle to check out the prices on these drinks. And the first selection we come across are the Cokes. Let's check it out. 
So the Cokes come in a box of 35 for $17.98, making each can 51 cent per. And if we look at the Sprites, it's the same situation. 35 in a pack and $17.98 for the entire pack, making each can 51 cent per. Now let's check out the Pepsis. The Pepsis here come in a pack of 36, but they want $15.48 for these making each can 43 cent per. So these aren't bad prices at all. They leave you enough room for a little bit of profit, but out of experience, I know that I could find deals on these sodas for much cheaper if I shop around in my local grocery store. So we're gonna go ahead and leave these here and we're gonna go ahead and head out of here. For those y'all wondering about how to become a member of a sounds club in your area, you can learn more about your options by clicking the link down in the description. And we're back in the car hustle fam. So that's all the snacks for my vending machines for this week. So now we got to get to the drinks. And we're already here at my first local grocery store that I'm going to go in here and try to find the deals for for my drinks. I'm going to need cans and bottles. And it doesn't really matter which grocery store you go to. They all pretty much run great deals on their drinks. So I'm going to get in here and see what they look like. Now y'all do me a quick favor. If y'all enjoying the free value that I'm giving you in this video, make sure y'all let me know by hitting that like button. Now let's see what kind of deals we can find on these drinks. Now keep in mind that we are looking for prices better than the ones at Sam's Club. At Sam's Club, they had Coke for 51 cent a can and Pepsi for 43 cent a can. Here it says, six pack Pepsi products, buy two, get three free. These are the bottles, what we need are really the cans. So if we look down here at the cans, we can see that these are on sale for $6.88. That'll make each can 57 cent per, which does not beat Sam's Club can price. And here it says, 12 pack Coke products, buy two, get two free. So that'll make each can 46 cent per, which again is not better than Sam's Club. So we washed out on both Cokes and Pepsis here. So let's turn around and get to another store and hopefully they have better deals. And here we are in the aisle of our second grocery store. And this is actually one of my favorite stores to come and pick up my drinks. So let's see what kind of deals they have for us. Here it says buy two Pepsis for $10 a piece, get one free. That'll make each can 56 cent per, which is not better than Sam's Club. So let's keep pushing to the Cokes. And right here, the Cokes say the exact same thing is the Pepsis. So we're gonna go ahead and leave both of these here and get to our third store. Here we are and we are already at the Cokes. Let's check out the price. Yeah. So the Cokes are going for $8.99. That'll make each can 75 cent per. So we're gonna leave that here and let's check out the Pepsi. So here we have the Pepsis and these are going for $9.99. Buy one get one free making each Pepsi can 42 cent per. This is a good deal but it would be just my luck that there's only one box of Pepsis left. Let's go ahead and check out the bottles. In my vending machines I sell my soda bottles for $2 a pop and here for the Pepsi bottles they're asking for for $11. That'll make each bottle bottle 46 cent per. Now let's go ahead and check out the Coke bottles. Now the Cokes, they're asking for three for 12. Now this store has some good deals. I'm gonna come back in the morning and hopefully they'll be done restock their inventory. One day later. What's going on? So now it is a whole new day. Yesterday we made the three stores to try to find the best deals for our drinks. Now the deals this week weren't looking too good, but the best deals that we were able to find were $5 a box for your Pepsi products and $5.50 a box for your Coke products. And those are at two different stores that we made it to yesterday. So we're going to get back to those two different stores. And then we're going to go ahead and get all our shopping in for these drinks. So let's go ahead and get it out the way. I'll meet y'all there. So we're back here at our first store that we made it to yesterday to pick up all our Coke product because here they have them for 46 cent per can. So I already have my cart loaded up. So I'm going to go ahead and check out and we'll get to the other store for our Pepsi products. And now we are back here at the third store that we made it to yesterday to pick up the Pepsi products that we need because here they have them going for 42 cent a can. When we were here yesterday, they only had one box of Pepsis. Well, unfortunately, they only have one extra box here for me today, so I'm going to pick up what I can and we'll keep it moving. At this store, they also have a great deal on their bottles, making each bottle 67 cent per, so I'm going to grab my bottles here also. And I have one vending machine location where I do sell the red Gatorades at, and here they have the Gatorades going for 88 cent a bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a case to top off the selection at the location. To see me stock all of these items that we just bought and to collect the cash out of my vending machines, be sure to stay tuned in for my next video. And if you really enjoyed the free value in this video, be sure to share this with a like-minded friend. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. As always, happy hustles.